Hey everyone, it is International Women's Day, and I do have a blog up over at my one two three cents talking more about one of the all-time great women in the world of professional wrestling, in Sensational Sherry. And I've got some birds chirping over there, and I apologize for that. But uh, I wanted to talk today on this video about three of my favorite women who were not necessarily queens of the ring as far as the inside of the ring, but who kind of dominated and ruled things outside the ring. Now, a couple of them did have a match here or there, but they were primarily remembered and recognized as managers. And speaking of Sensational Sherry, I think she definitely will go down as one of the all-time great managers, as well as one of the all-time great wrestlers in the world of professional wrestling. So, uh, you know, you have a great case, her work uh, early on in the AWA and, of course, WWE, and then her managerial roles with Ted DiBiase, the Macho Man Randy Savage, Shawn Michaels, and then WCW with Ric Flair, Harlem Heat, and others. Again, go read it at my123cents.com. But number one on my list is the lovely Miss Elizabeth, who first came onto the scene, uh, national scene at least, in 1985 when she showed up in the WWF with Macho Man Randy Savage. She was elegant. She was graceful. She was beautiful. She really personified what a classy woman is and in the world of professional wrestling because there had been some stereotypes, there had been some images um, of women in wrestling before that. And, and Elizabeth really uh, kind of broke those molds, especially in the WWF. Uh, she was, I believe, the first or at least one of the first females outside of the ring as a valet or manager type. So even when things were not going well between her and Macho Man uh, personally, because we all know they were married in real life, they still had a great relationship, you know, on-screen relationship, even after they divorced and, and both went to WCW as well. Um, Elizabeth gone way too soon, and I would think once her family, I think it's kind of a family thing, uh, gets uh, on board with the idea she will be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Number two on my list is Marlena. She, of course, was the real-life wife of Dustin Rhodes. Uh, they were both in WCW together when they met. She went from being a uh, makeup artist for CNN and WCW to becoming an on-screen character, Miss Alexandra York, and then transitioning to the WWF as Marlena. You can hear the entire story on that on the My One Two Three Cents podcast. I had the opportunity to interview Terry Runnels uh, a couple years ago now. And she tells an amazing story. She has her own podcast up now as well. But uh, I always liked the Gold Dust gimmick. It's one of my favorite gimmicks of all time. And when they brought her in to kind of put a bow on everything, I thought it was just brilliant. It was perfect. Um, and I enjoyed her work even after she kind of transitioned out of the Marlena role and just became Terry Runnels and was a, a part of WWE and winning the Hardcore Championship a few times as well. Missy Hyatt is number three on my list. Uh, Probably my first crush in the world of professional wrestling. I remember when she was on World Class Championship Wrestling and the UWF. And this was really before Elizabeth came onto the scene as well, um, at least the national scene. Where I lived, we didn't get um, the IWC, I think is what it was called, or uh, the company that Elizabeth and Randy Savage were a part of before coming to WWF. So Missy Hyatt was with uh, Johnny Tatum, Hot Stuff Eddie Gilbert, and... She also went to the WWF, but unfortunately didn't work out. She was going to do Missy's Manor, a talk show segment, um, after Rowdy Roddy Piper had retired after WrestleMania three. But unfortunately, things didn't work out there. But she came back to WCW, um, continued a ma managerial role and an interview role. So uh, another woman, all three of these women, I believe, will one day be, or at least should be, in the WWE Hall of Fame. So who are your favorites involved in the world of professional wrestling, women that is? Be sure to let me know, leave a comment, and like this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my123cents.com as well.